So the doctor said, if this is my thermometer, where's my pen? Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Photoshop for Amateurs. Today we're going to be learning how to do this effect right here. It's uh, pictures within pictures within pictures. It's a very popular effect right now. Uh, we're going to, okay, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you're going to need the main picture, which is this first one, the biggest one. There you go. And from here, you're going to use your polygonal lasso tool. Click on that. And we're just going to do this real quick. Remember, when you're doing it, you take your time. But click on all the sides. One click, you don't have to drag it on all the corners. And there you get the little marching ants. From here, you're going to create a new layer. You go down to this button right here, create new layer, click it. Okay, then you're going to use your brush tool right here. Make sure it's on black. There you go. Let's make the circle a little bit bigger. Hit the brackets. Make it bigger. Color that square in. Okay, now you got it all black. And let's go ahead and push deselect. Deselect will take away those ants, those marching ants. It's control D. There you go. Now from here, make sure you have this uh, selected, your black square. From here, you're going to go, you're going to place the other photo. Push file, open. No. Where are my, there it is. Okay, get the next picture. Let's get this one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I messed up already. Look at that. Okay, we're going to place it. File, place. Where is the place button? There it is. Place. Then you check your your, your picture. Okay, and you're going to push the, the check mark up here just to commit to that movement. Now, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to put your arrow right in between the layer with the black square and your new photo that you're trying to upload. Put it between there. Push Alt for your PC users. And when that little thing comes out, you move it away, you still have the hand. When you move it right there in the middle, you have that little signal right there. That's a clipping mask. Push it, and it clips that photo into this black area that you have. Okay. And from here, we're going to want to adjust the the photo so we're gonna have to free transform it control T there you go and from here you can move it you can move it you can make it bigger and in this case we're gonna make it a little bit bigger just grab one of the corners there and drag it a little bit more and if you want to go artsy fartsy with it just move it out of the little uh, corner there and there you go you'll get uh, two arrows with a little bending line you click and hold that and you can move it side to side let's try that for a little bit if you want to be a little bit more artsy fartsy let's drag it out just a little bit bigger and yeah there you go again this is just something real simple something real quick again you're going to take your time with it more when you're doing it okay once you're happy with your uh, placement of the picture go ahead and push enter and there you go and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start the process all over again get your lasso tool right here or you can use the quick selection as we learned in the other videos but for uh, straight lines for squares like this it's a lot easier for this lasso tool click on that and let's go ahead and zoom in, in the picture again zoom in control plus sign okay and again just real quick real simple you're gonna take your time on this when you're doing it click the corners and we're gonna look for those marching ants once again and there we go and one more time let's add a layer to that and like always we just repeat the process you click your brush tool make sure it's on black and color it in there we go. Now that it's all colored in, deselect those marching ants, make them go away. Control D. Okay, and again, we're going to place another picture in there. Go to File, Place, choose the next picture. 
which is this one click the check mark to confirm and then again you're gonna to want to go into the middle here to make that masking uh, or that clip mask again press hold alt there you go and when you see that little sucker come up go ahead and click that and you have clicked that picture into the black square control T so you can move it around and you can transform it so it can fit into the frame there we go let's make it a little bit bigger that way there's no extra areas you don't see that black mark right there okay yeah that should do push enter to confirm it and once again let's repeat the process let's zoom in just a little bit control plus sign okay here we go our lasso tool once more click the corners a new layer down here right next to the trash can button there we go paintbrush and let's make that a little bit smaller use your other bracket to make it big and small color it in there we go make the ants go away control D and once again for the final picture place another picture put file place and you choose your picture. And go push the check mark button once more to confirm. And hold your alt button once again when that little, I don't know what the hell it is, it looks like a little bee. We'll call it a bee. When the bee, little co bee thing comes out or a fly, click that and the picture is masked into that area. Control T, which is a transform button. You can move your picture, you can make it swivel. There you go. Let's just make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Perfect. Push enter. And there you go. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Control minus sign to zoom out. And there you go. It is a picture within a picture. I like this effect a lot. Uh, with my other. Um, with my other picture that I showed you at the very beginning I did some uh, where's the first one oh, here we go I did some uh, modification to the color and whatnot then I went ahead and made everything black and white if you saw my other videos you already know how to make uh, splash effects which means uh, you make one thing color and the everything else one object color and the everything else is uh, black and white in this case I chose the middle one to be color everything else is black and white I thought it came out pretty good and that's what you get something like that there you go uh, it not only you can use it for pictures I took some pregnancy pictures the other day and the very popular uh, picture where uh, the woman has her hands in the shape of a heart and puts it over her belly you can do the same concept of this with that with the sonogram picture as you can see here with this one, obviously, the lasso tool is not going to work very well. Well, it can, but you're good. there's so many um, corners, so many contours that you're going to be doom, 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 clicking every single part. Again, just use your selection tool like we learned uh, from, I think it was my first video, a selection tool. And if you just click and drag, boom, there you go. There's your heart. You might want to little, just a little add some here and make sure everything is covered. But just something like that. And again, just... Uh, get your brush tool make sure it's on black oh I'm sorry uh, create a new layer create a new layer color everything on black there you go make the marching ants go away and you can place any picture in there file place uh, let's just use one of the ones we've been using already check mark hold the alt button make sure the little fly comes out right in the middle there you go control T to transform it to make sure it'll fit in there in this case with this picture I use the uh, well for the first picture that you saw I use a sonogram picture but here you go you can use something like this enter to confirm it there you go but uh, like I said the first picture I had uh, if you want to go back one step push control uh, Z 
control Zulu and that undo undoes the the last thing you did. There you go. But if you want to go back a few steps, it's control Alt and Z. And there you go. Let's deselect the ends. And that's what happened with this picture. Uh, it's pretty much the same concept, but instead of the lasso tool here, you use the the, the select tool. Where is it? There it is. Use the select tool, and it's, it's the same concept. There's a wide range of uh, things you can use with this effect, but it's very useful nonetheless. Well, that's it, guys. Again, Photoshop for beginners. I am an amateur teaching amateurs. If you like this video, give it that big old thumbs up, or subscribe to my channel if you like. I got more videos on the way. Again, I say this in every video. Uh, if you're an amateur, you like an effect on YouTube, it doesn't necessarily have to be my video, but if you find somebody else's video that find, you find it very helpful, go ahead and like it. Then months down the line, if you want to do the same effect but you forgot how to do it, it's already stored in your like sections of YouTube, and it's a lot easier to find. But anyways, that's it. You guys have a good day, and be well.